What's going on guys, Fady Louie here, bringing you guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid taper on my boy, so stay tuned. We started off by combing everything in place and then switching over to our 3 guard all the way open using our Andis Masters. Now that we're done debulking the sides, we can move on to the back taper and start off by making our first guideline with our NST outliners. We are contouring this guideline to their head shape, so make sure you do that. Now that we're done botting them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. The lever on my Andis Masters is midway because if you open it up all the way open, it opens up to a 1. Now that we're done setting in the guideline, we can start to close the lever to erase that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open. Remember when I say all the way open, the lever is midway because this opens up to a one. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now we're slightly closing the lever to soften up the line. This is going to get us ready for the zero guard all the way open. We are using the lever on the last notch, opening it up to a 1 and blending out that guideline between the 0 and the 1. Now we're moving on to the 2 guard all the way open. Remember when I say all the way open, it's midway unless I say we're opened up to a 1. This is creating our 4th guideline and we're blending into the 3 guard all the way open. Now that we're done softening up the line, we can move on to the Wonder Guard all the way open and continue to blend out that line. Now we're switching back over to the 2 guard all the way open and remember it is all the way open to a 1 so we, this is equivalent to a 3 guard. Moving on to the side taper we're using our anesthesia outliners to create our first guideline. Thank you. 
Now we're using our lever halfway to create our second guideline. Remember, we're gonna slightly close the lever all the way closed to help us erase that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Remember, we're going to use the lever to soften up this line and get it ready for the zero guard. Now we're moving on to the zero guard all the way open and we're attacking that line between the one guard all the way open and the no guard all the way open. Now we're using the two guard all the way open, creating our fourth guideline and solidifying the fade into the three guard all the way open. Now we're moving on to the snack line and we're using our anesthesia outliners to make them as crispy as possible. I usually start off at the bottom and work my way to the top arch. When you're near the top arch, you wanna make sure you don't press too hard cause you could nick them with the teeth of the trimmer. Now we're moving on to the sideburns and we're going to continue to blend in the sideburns into the taper. Here I'm using the no guard halfway and I'm continuing to erase that initial guideline. Try not to press too hard near the lip area because you could bite them with the teeth of the trimmer. Here we're adding extra details to the side taper because I saw a few dark lines. we're done with the side taper we can move on to the C cups and use our NST outliners to make them as crispy as possible. I like to start off at the bottom of the C cup and work my way to the top arch. Remember to go as slow as possible making sure the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer.
before we start the hairline, we're gonna comb down all his baby hairs and then deep bulk with the one guard all the way open. Now that we're done debulking his hairline, we can move on to our anesthesia outliners and make them as crispy as possible. I usually start off in the middle and work my way to the sides. Remember to go slow with your trimmers and make sure the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer. Make sure to go over the hairline multiple times and don't just hit it one time and then you're done. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you leave a comment down below, I'm 100% going to reply to it. Now that we're done using our anesthesia outliners, we can move on to our Turkish Razor and Derby Premium Blades and make them as crispy as possible. Before you use the razor, you want to make sure you lather the skin with shave gel and then also stretch the skin as much as possible when using the razor while keeping it at a 45 degree angle. What's going on guys, Fed Louie here, bring you guys a brand new video, we're going to be doing a 10 minute haircut tutorial so stay tuned. We're going to be doing a ball fade with our detachable octanes. We're starting off by creating our first guideline with our 5 op blade, this 5 op blade is equivalent to the trimmer.
Make sure you stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand to give you more space. Now that we're done balding him out, we can move on to our shave stick and apply it to his skin. This is so he doesn't bump up when using the shaver. Now we're switching over to our babyless foil shavers to remove the stubble. You want to stay around one centimeter away from the guidelines so you can blend it in. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Remember not to press too hard with the foil shaver because you could burn their skin. Now that we're done removing all the stubble, we can move on to our OA blade and create our second guideline. This is equivalent to our no guard all the way open. Now we're switching over to our 1A blade and we're going to debulk the top. This is equivalent to our one guard all the way open. Sometimes it's easier to remove the hair with your blow dryer instead of using your brush. Now that we're done debulking the top and setting in our first guideline, we can move on to our three op and attack that first guideline. You want to meet it around in the middle and flick out as much as possible, because the three op blends into the 08.
now we're switching over to the one guard and we're gonna again meet in the middle and flick out as much as possible blending into the one eight Now that the blend is there, we can switch over to our NST outliners and make his hairline as crispy as possible. We are going to keep it as natural as possible as well because we don't want to cock him back. When using your trimmers, you want to make sure you go slow and make sure the hair feeds into the trimmer because if not, then they won't line them up properly. Now we're creating his vertical bars and we're making sure we don't push him back. Moving on to our Turkish Razor and Derby Premium Blades, we're going to make them as crispy as possible. Before we use our razor, we're going to apply shave gel to the skin and then also when you're using your razor, you want to stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand and keep the razor at a 45 degree angle. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Also, if you leave a comment down below, I'm 100% going to reply to it, so make sure you do.